here to the Ice Sport Forum. And we are just about set for another season of over 50 hockey here for the Yellow Jackets and the Red Army. And Clyde tells you alongside here. Excuse me, I just said your name, Clyde. I'm Andy Townsend alongside here with me, Clyde tells you. Clyde, what have you been so far? Well, Andy, you know, it's another great season of over 50 hockey. You know, a long two week period. And then, of course, there was the coverage of the tournament. We're here just to see these guys back at it again. It'll be real exciting. You know, I got a hand for the Yellow Jackets, you know, with their tournament team that they created. You know, most of them were on there. Plus the additions of a few others. You know, you gotta really love the Yellow Jackets today. You know, definitely. I love the thing about Larry Wood's helmet, you know. It has some black stripes to it or if it was tape. But it definitely looks retro on him. And it definitely sets the mood. So gotta love that from him. Things are the same for the Yellow Jackets, typically. I mean, you have the return of Scott McCats, which definitely helps. And then that chemistry with Becker and Hyman should definitely keep them going. Red Army, on the other hand, you know, some things, there's Tom Finley, back to his number 14 jersey from the old days, from the original establishment of the over 50 hockey league. And then one big thing, which is a big surprise here, is Angelo Pontello in the Red Army. And looking at his design, you're definitely looking at the colors there. It definitely matches and it makes him look like he's from an old Blackhawks team. But you gotta love his style. Sound of the buzzer, I mean, we are about ready for the face off. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Just underway here, Tom Finley about to take the face off against Andrew Hyman. Back back to Pontello. Hyman. McCants. Takes a shot early. Grosso. Hyman. McCants. Oh, real unfortunate for him. Quick curl. Stopped and knocked away. Quick curl. Off the boards. Takes the set up short. Knocks it away. Snap Pontello. And open Steve Garasso. Heavily covered by Hyman, takes another shot. Easily covered. Now it's Pontello. Now Grasso. Can't field the shot. Pontello. Covered by Randy Cristiano. It's now it's Paul Rockhill. Pass to Cristiano. Looking to set up, and Keeper makes a good save. Pontello. This is Madalena. Intercepted, Motty Washburn. Steve Byrne. Dispossessed. Back to Byrne. Now it's Chris Asaro. Pontello can't get to the puck in time, but he finally does. Puck off the boards. This is Joe Mashrin. He's got a real chance. Knocked away. This is Roberge. Pontello. An icing call. Pardon out to D'Angelo. Intercepted, Pontello. Face 
very soft, won't peel. McCants, Hyman. It's over to Steve Grosso. Off the bolts. Quick go. And now it's a wide open back, a real chance. And he misses his opportunity. Masher in. Shoots it off of Hyman. Becker. Hyman. It's an offside call. There's a face off. It'll be Tom Finley and Andrew Hyman. This is Scott McCants, Hyman, back to McCants, Becker, Quitco. Cleared out now. Gonna be a nice and cold. Puck now. He burn. Takes a shot. Randy Cristiano. This is to Tom Finley. Garrick. Skates his way through. Off the boards. Rob Burge, Tom Finley, Garrett. Takes a short. Good save by the keeper. Garrett, Pontello. Looking to set up. Now to Finley taking the short. Keeper knocks it away. Garrett. Looking to take the shot himself. Too high. Washburn. And he clears it out. Good save. Robert. Now to Rock Hill. Intercepted. Grosso. Back to Rock Hill. Becker. Pontello. Quick curl. Becker. Hyman. Takes a short. Just left of the keeper. Pontello intercepted. Becker, another shot. And referee looked like he either saw some offsides or it might have been a yellow card. It looks more like an offside call. Referees do not having a clue on what's going on. Or perhaps it's just more clarification. Still lots of time, Red Army holding their own. And icing cold. Surprise here so far, Andy, you know. The Red Army has definitely been able to keep up with the Yellow Jackets, especially with the lack of depth on the bench. You know, now it's Angelo Pontello and Tom Finley on the bench, but they've been able to hold their own so far. It's 
Steve Byrne. This is Samotti Washburn. Robbers. Garrett. D'Angelo. Burn. Pontello. D'Angelo. Grosso. This is Joe Mastering. Now it's Pontello. Skating back. And he tries to clear it out. Finds it all open, Tom Finley. Real chance. Keep it, knocks it away. Real opportunity. Now set up to Garrick. It's in! Great effort by Dave Garrick, assisted by Tom Finley. And the lack of depth, Red Army have a 1 0 lead over the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, definitely great effort there they pulled off. Angelo Pontello definitely, you know, skating back and then finding an open Tom Finley. Yellow Jackets completely lost track of Finley and he was able to hold his own and Dave Garrick eventually came over. And now the Red Army are up 1 0. Rock Hill. Intercepted. Pontello. Mastering. to Pontello. So look at the taking in himself. No, he gets it to Finley. Could have made that a little bit more clear. Robert. Finley. Rock Hill. Hyman. Hyman takes a shot. Keeping Nautic away, Robert, Rock Hill. Becker to Rock Hill. Takes a short. Keeper comes up with another save. Hot now over to Pontello. And that must have went out of the bench. Finley. Taken away by McCants. Becker. McCants. Sets up to Hyman. Good save by the keeper. Pontello knocks it away. Quick curl. Becker. The keeper knocks it away. Garrick. And Quicko didn't even realize where the puck was. Now it's Garrick. Takes a short. It's a short, great save by Herman. Garrett. Off the boards, Washburn. D'Angelo. Looking to try to equalize, they just couldn't take the chance. Burst. 
D'Angelo. Takes the shot. Oh, as Sarah trips. How unfortunate. And now to an open Mascherin. Gets it to Madalena. Takes the shot. Keep ahead, no problem. Making the save there. Sarrow takes the pass to McCants. He's got a real chance. Knocked away by Roberge. Another stellar effort by Guy Roberge. And the Red Army keep tracking. Finley. Washburn. Hyman takes a shot off the post. And that's the end of one. And the Red Army are up 1 now. Kind of exciting for this Red Army team, wouldn't you say, Clive? Yeah, definitely, Andy, you know. With Neil Armstrong out, Les Sabler out, and Jim Nardot, who's not here, but. You know, they would have helped make this team even better, but the way they're chugging right now, you know, with these seven players plus the goalie, they're holding their own. Especially against a team where their first lineup is formerly old puck members. And they definitely need to pick up the pace a little bit if they're gonna look to overcome the Red Army. But then keep up, keep up getting in mind, Clive, that this is just a th first period the Red Army still need to survive two more periods and there's plenty of time for the Yellow Jackets to get back in this one and we will have the second period for you upcoming stay tuned start the second period it's Pontello McCants Becker takes a shot having a few words did a bit of a confrontation there off Pontello. That's McCants. Finley. And just a little bit too far and that'll be an icing call. The puck now to Hyman. Looking to set up but dispossessed by Finley. And now Steve Grosso, keeper comes out of the box. Finley, looking to Pontello, knocked away by Rock Hill. Garrett, Rock Hill, McCants. This is Tom Finley. Grosso. Becker. McCants. Takes a shot. Keeper makes a phenomenal save. Finley. Randy Cristiano. D'Angelo, Garrett, Hot now 
now to Asaro. It's in! I don't believe it! Lonnie Herman was just completely unaware of that shot. And just a random shot by Chris Asaro. And we have ourselves a tight game. A, that's going to be real unfortunate there for Lonnie Herman. He'll be definitely wishing he had that one back. And as for this Red Army team, they were sitting comfortable with the one their lead. And the Yellow Jackets come back to tie it up. Takes a shot, it's in! And this is exactly why the Red Army stole Angelo Pontello from the Grey Wolves. It's because of moments like those where he gets it back. And just like that, the Red Army are back on top, two to one. In the 15th minute of play. And both Joe Masherin and Chris Asaro there jumped off sides. Now to Washburn. Garrick. Pontello. Asaro, nice pass to Cristiano. Looking to set up. Knocks it away. Herman knocks it away. D'Angelo. Pontello. It's up and still in the rank. Off the boards, it's Finley. It's now Hyman. With an aggressive effort. Still on the move. Looking for the set up. And Pontello knocks it away. Yellow Jackets had an, an opportunity for the equaliser. And they just can't capitalise. This is mastering. Rock Hill, Hyman, McCants, Hyman, and an offside call. Let's face off, Pontello. Pops it in the air. And he cleared. Keeper gets it off to Quick Co. Pass Rock Hill. And now it's Hyman over the middle. Off the boards. Pontello. Intercepted by Quicko. Takes a shot. Just high. Finley. Mashering. Becker. Now it's the Hyman. Looking for the setup. Quick curl. Takes a shot. Keeper falls on this one. Hot now to Roberge. Cristiano. Trying to set it up to burn. Yes, burn. Pontello intercepting and that might be a delayed penalty an advantage refs his play on Washburn D'Angelo Pontello Grosso Burge. 
Makes a good move. Now Pontello trying to clear it out. It's Pontello. Dave Garrett. Grosso, real chance. Knocked away. Garrett with another opportunity. It's Garrett trying to make a move. Cut to the other side, it's Pontello. And now it's Robert taking the shot. Just right of the keeper. And the puck is now over to Dave Garrick. Looking for a nice shot opportunity just high of the keeper. Puck back to Asaro. Now to Garrick. Oh, I beg your pardon, that's Tom Finley. Grosso, off the board. Puck now over to Steve Byrne. Trying to keep it in possession. And now it's Pontello back. Looking for Finley. Now this is to Steve Grosso. Takes a shot. Right to the keeper, who makes a nice save. Roberge. Oh, now take another shot. Near opportunity for a goal. And the Red Army just can't capitalize. Near opportunity. And now it's an open Andrew Hyman. Becker. With the shot. Quick curl. Dispossessed by Mashrin. Hyman. Pontello knocks it away. Now to Steve Grosso. Only the keeper to beat. Oh, I didn't see Rock Hill there. But it's a save by Larry Wood. Quick curl. Becker. Hyman. And an opportunity for a Yellow Jacket set up. Just can't go through. Robert. Clears the puck out. Wait, wait, wait. Go. Stop by Madalena. And now it's Garrick. Madalena takes a shot. And now it's Garrick. Rock Hill. And that might be a penalty by Becker. Fuck now to Finley. with the interception. McCants taking a shot. Fontella knocks it away. Becker. Hyman knocked away by Dave Garrett. Great defensive effort. Washburn. Now it's Pontello. Off the boards it gets cleared out. Ice and call. Pontello clears it out and that'll be another icing call. Puck over to Dave Garrett. Pontello off the boards to Mashrin. That's to Tom Finley if he can get to the puck. Washburn. 
Zelo. Robbers. Finley. Clears it out. Washburn. D'Angelo. Off the balls now to Garrick. And this is Joe Masherin. 24th minute to play. Pontello knocks it away. D'Angelo. And referee. Saw some. Saw what looked like a penalty. And it looks like Marty Washburn picks up a yellow card. Power play for the Red Army. Definitely a great advantage, Andy, for this team. You know, the Red Army, this is about time that they needed something as big as this a power play for them, an opportunity to extend the lead. It'll be Tom Finley with the face off. Becker. Pontello. Finley. Now to Becker. Hyman. Hyman looking for the setup. Now it's Becker. Referee picks up an offside call. No! It's another yellow card, this time to Giro Burge. And it's 4 on 4. Red Army hang on to a 2-1 lead, heading into the third. Could we see an exciting upset here of seven men over practically a full squad? We'll see about that. We'll be right back. Third period on the way. It's Garrett. Taylor. Still on the 4-4. Four four. Pass Quicko. Finley looking to set up. Hits the ball. Hits the post. Real unfortunate. Quicko through the legs. Herman was not going to be fooled that time. It makes a nice save. There's a face off. It's Garrick. Pontelo. D'Angelo. With the shot. Hits the post. Cristiano looking to set up. Near opportunity for Steve Byrne. Could not capitalize. Montello takes a shot, and that looked like it was in. Just from that angle, it looked like it was in. But they're going to say the keeper made. You almost should either, Andy, to see what the determination was. It looked like it was a goal. You know, with the post and stuff, and Larry Wood could not make the save. But then again, 
I could be wrong and it looks like I am. Yep, great shot by Angelo Pontello. And the keeper makes a really good save. A game changing save. D'Angelo off the ball, just to a wide open Randy Cristiano. Herman falls on it for the save. Pop now to Steve Byrne. Pontello clears the puck out. Definitely a smart move. And the Red Army will be able at that point. And it looks like the Red Army disagree with an icing call. And the puck will actually take place on the yellow jacket side. Yeah, a little bit of confrontation there, still learning the hockey route. It was there, Andy, and, you know, just a complicated call there. You're right about that, Clive. I mean, there's still other rules that we're still trying to learn and understand. And nevertheless, three seconds left. Asaro getting it back to D'Angelo, and we are back to full strength. Garrett to Asaro, Pontello. Roberge. Roberge with the shot. Keep ahead, no problem, making the save. D'Angelo. Heavily covered by Mastering. Pop now to McCants. Tips and it's now to Garrett. But the referee signals off sides. No! It looks like the referee caught Mashrin on some kind of penalty. But that's a huge yellow card. And even a bigger power play for the Yellow Jackets. That's exactly what happens, you know, when you have a strict ref and he, he definitely breaks things down. The referee's not, not that merciful. And he nailed Mashrin for that call. Garrett, nobody from the Red Army noticed anything in with the puck missing. And Becker's opportunity fell short. And now the puck being dumped back into Yellow Jacket territory. It's Rock Hill. Pontello. Pontello takes the shot. Rock Hill. Becker. Hyman. Couldn't quite reach to it. Roberge. Garrett. Intercepted by Becker. Herman knocks it away. And now Becker with another shot. Passing it back to Rock Hill. Oh, another missed chance. Oh no. Angelo Pontello hit himself. He's not looking good. We'll be right back. Angelo Pontello being held back to his bench. He's all right. Nothing severe. Yeah, for a second there, Andy, I thought it was going to be devastating. You know, just a hit, hit like that. He just took a nasty hit into the boards. And the balls should be awarded a red card, but they're not players, so it's unfortunate. But nevertheless, Angelo Pontello seems to be all right. He's talking with the other team. But the severity of what happened to him, we'll see if he's able to finish the game out. But it looks like he's sort of all right. He'll have to stretch out the, the kinks. 
Meanwhile, 8.21 to go. And it'll be Tom Finley with the face-off against Andrew Hyman. Puck back to Garrick. Off to Quick Curl. Off the boards. Quick goes on the move. Shoots. And the puck is knocked away. It's Garrick who clears it out. Now Rock Hill stops it. Grosso. And Grosso clears it. Puck now back to Jeff Quicko. Garrick. Trying to clear it out, he does. Definitely clears a lot of time out for Masherin's penalty. And we are back to full strength. McCants. Hyman, Becker. Open to the right side. Takes a shot. And Herman falls on the puck, making a nice save. Burge off the balls. And Clyde, so far this rematch of the over 50 cup four seems to once again favor the Red Army. Yeah, definitely Andy, you know, the way the Red Army have been playing, especially with players out and lack of depth on their bench. They've still been able to maintain a 2-1 lead. And the effort they're giving is unbelievable. It's insurmountable. Meanwhile for the Yellow Jackets, they just can't find ways to score. Lonnie is having one heck of a game whenever the puck is near the area. Pontello gets the pass off. Finds an open Masherin. He's got room. Finley can't hold on to the puck. And now it's Pontello who knocks it away. Washburn. D'Angelo. Masherin. This is Madalena taking a shot just right, or excuse me, just left of the post. This is Steve Byrne. Puck cleared out. And Pontello takes it right away. Puck off to Masher, and now it's to Steve Grosso to the left. Real chance. Just high of the keeper. Madalena. Grosso. Keeper makes a good save. There's a face off. It's Rock Hill. Looking for the setup. It's Becker. Now to an open Andrew Hyman. Only the keeper to beat. And he misses his opportunity. How unfortunate. Fired shot by McCann. And now Becker takes another shot just high. Garrett. Garrett clears out the puck and it'll be an icing call. Putting out to Grosso. Flips it, clears it out. And the Yellow Jackets get on it, deep in their end zone. Rock Hill, quick curl. This is Andrew Hyman. Becker. Watch the sticking there. And yes, the referee saw it. Pontello was definitely not going to get away with that one. Oh, excuse me, that was a hooking call. And Angelo Pontello gets a yellow card. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate, but Pontello can play can be such a goon at times. It's real unfortunate for the Red Army. And now deep in their territory. Four and a half minutes remaining of play. The Yellow Jackets now have an opportunity to come up with an equalizer. And the other thing too, Andy, when you look at it is 
the lineup. It's all the old pucks. So the Red Army are going to have to make a big stand here. And they're going to have to focus on clearing out the puck. McCants. Hyman. Skating around. Rock here looking for an open opportunity. Now it's the Hyman. Takes a shot. Puck knocked away. Grosso. Back to Garrick. Open Hyman. Takes a shot. He's knocked away again by Herman. Garrick. Now it's the Becker. Quaker takes a shot. Now Rock Hill. Passes it off to McCant. Tips away and Becker can't feel the pop for the finish. Roberge. Now it's Andrew Hyman. Pot knocked away again. McCants trying to field it for the finish. Pot now sitting there. Rock Hill takes a shot. Knocked away. And the Red Army are just doing an excellent job of defense here. McCants looking for the setup. Off a Grosso stick. And Roberge knocks it away. Great defensive effort for the Red Army. I've never seen anything like it. You know, Yellow Jackets had everything give it to them there. All they had to do was create a plan to set up. And they just couldn't do that. Cristiano. Asaro. And it's a save by Herman. Finley to take the face off of the Red Army. Cristiano for the Yellow Jackets. Finley. Now it's D'Angelo. Looking for the setup to Washburn. Can't field it. And Garrick knocks it away. Steve Byrne. And Washburn covered by Finley. And now it's Roberge. Guy Roberge gets it off to Joe Masherin. And he's got a real chance. Looking for the setup. Skating back, and it was Washburn. It's Randy Cristiano. Gets the pass off to Steve Byrne. Knocked away by Pontello. And he clears it out. Cristiano. This is to Steve Byrne. Great defensive effort by Roberge, and he gets Pontello the puck. Pontello taking a shot. He's got to stick to the face. That's got to be a call. And there is no call. Unbelievable. The referees are once again, it looks like they're playing favorites here. No, real disappointment by the referees. Should have a better lack of fair judgment. McCants. And Finley knocks it away. It's now Paul Rockhill. And we just entered one minute of stoppage time. As Pontello hits it off the glass. And now it's Becker. Finley clears it out. And it'll be an icing call. Now here's a big decision for the Yellow Jackets. Now that it's an icing call with 39.7 seconds, will they pull out their goalie? Yes, in fact, indeed, we see Larry Wood off heading into the bench. So the Yellow Jackets will be playing six men downfield and with an empty net. So not only it's the old pop trio, but we also see Steve Burnt entering as well. And the Red Army call for a timeout. We'll take on ourselves and we'll be right back. The epic showdown. 40 seconds to go in the game. Red Army lead 2 1. But it should be more like 4 to 3. Epic discussion. Who will finish out on top? 
Red Army or Yellow Jackets? We will find out. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. 39.7 seconds left in the game. Yellow Jackets with six men, Red Army with five. And a very tired five, two clock. Definitely looking at the way they've been playing all game with just seven men and they're surviving this well. It could go in! It's in! I don't believe it! Gero Bears with the big shot! Clive, how would you measure that? Would that have been like... I'm not sure about the exact footing, but it looked approximately like 190 feet short right there. And Gero Burge just put his team up for good. And that is definitely the dagger. Real unfortunate for the Yellow Jackets. And an unexpected shot as well. Who would have thought Gero Burge would have had that kind of capability? So now it's three warm. Red Army. Now the Yellow Jackets will be trying to throw the kitchen sink to get back in this one. Pontello knocks it away, but luckily Rock Hill gets to it. And that's it, folks. That's the end of the game. The Red Army come away. And they officially blow the socks off of the Yellow Jackets. And they come away with the final score, 3-1 here. Yeah, it's definitely a big victory for them, you know. Again, you know, playing with seven players and the kind of talent that they had. And they did it without Les Sabler, Neil Armstrong, and Jim Nardell. You know, this is a real big victory for them. And it definitely shows that they can accomplish just about anything with the quality of players that they have. Big game for the Red Army, a big win for them. And as for the Yellow Jackets, this was not what they were expecting. They were expecting rather a blowout for them, you know, about four goals or so. But they come away with only one goal, and that was off of Lonnie Herman's lack of awareness. But definitely, you gotta give credit to Chris Asaro, you know. His shots like that, his one goal will definitely come in handy for the, for the future games to come. But definitely, he was a great, he is still a great addition to this Yellow Jacket team. And can't wait to see this guy perform better. Well, we thank you for joining us here, ladies and gentlemen. To another exciting over 50 hockey matchup here on the over 50 hockey network for clive tells you i'm andy townsend saying so long and we will see you all next week